Today I'm going to show you guys how to use the Nova Sniper bot for Solana meme coins that everyone is using because it's the fastest bot on the network. So as soon as you start on the Solana Telegram bot, the first thing that you need to go is set your settings up. You're going to head over to fees and make sure you're using the best fees possible to get the best transactions possible. The fees that I personally have set are pretty high. The reason I do this is to get the fastest fills because they help out with the network, but you can trade with as little as 0.0001 fee or however you may see best case scenario be for you or whatever you decide those fees to be for you. You don't have to copy any of the fees that I personally use. Next, we have to set our slippage up. For sniping, I usually recommend between 50 to 80% slippage. For my normal buys, my normal sells, I use 25 to 15%. This really just depends on how much volume a coin is getting. And basically this means if you want to buy a hundred bucks of something, you may end up buying 125 bucks or you may end up getting less percent of tokens. One of the very important things to have is MEV protection, because if you don't have this feature on, you can get what's called a MEV attack. A MEV attack on Solana happens when the validators manipulate the orders. MEV protection is very important to avoid getting your transaction sandwiched and avoid losing all the money that you put towards that buy. So I always recommend using Jito. I also recommend it for selling. I personally don't have it on because I like it to go to the ultra node um, and I keep my slippage very low to avoid the amount I can get mev if worst case scenario were to happen and then over here on your quick buy and your quick sell these are all different presets that you can set up just to have it set up just like you want it you can also do auto sell whenever the dev sells the token i personally have this off because sometimes the dev doesn't have to be in the token in order for it to actually pump so you can set these buy amounts to whatever you want you can customize them however you see is best for you. Next, we're gonna talk about the wallets that you have on Nova. Here you can set up multiple wallets. You can create a wallet, you can import wallets, rename them, delete them, export private keys, and you can set up a security pin, which we 100% recommend. This is to avoid if your Telegram ever gets compromised, you will not lose the money that you have in the Nova bot. Next, here is our buy button. Here you can send a token address of any token and it will instantly buy. So for example, if I go on a DEX and I click a random token, I'm also using Nova Click extension for my DEXs right now. So if I send a token address here, you can see, you can see I can press buy one soul, and the transaction went through just like that. And then if I want to sell, this is exactly what the screen looks like. And I can sell just like that. So when the buying tab opens up, you're able to see all your positions right here. Currently, as you guys can see, I don't currently have any positions open. So I can go back to the menu. I can also see my positions on different wallets that I may have. Right here, it's only the 26K one that I have, but I don't have any positions open right now. And from this page right here, you can also click on your position and decide whether or not you want to sell everything. So let's say I want to sell my $1 of honey I have. I just press here and it'll go ahead and sell all of my honey right there for the $1 I just got back. Let's talk limit orders. This is a very, very important feature of Nova. You can actually send a token address here and create an order. So for example, I'm going to pull up MOG coin. If I want to set up some limit orders to buy MOG coin, right? I would send a token address and I have my auto buy feature, which is why I decided to do that. I can set up a limit order right here. Let's say I want to buy 1000 soul or 100 soul of MOG, right? And I want to buy this at a market cap of 1 mil, for example, right? Let's say there's a crazy dip. I can set my trigger to buy above 1 mil and it would go through for 100 soul. I can set what my tip and my feed be, my slippage, my protection on, what processor I want to use, um, and my take profit and stop loss as well. So I'll do a new take profit level and I will take this at 100%. And those are the rules that I set up for this token. Another very, very important feature of Nova is obviously copy trade. If you find a low-key wallet that you want to start copy trading and you want to take advantage of the time in the market that they may have that you don't have, you can actually create a new task by going right here. You can send a wallet address that you want to copy trade from. And as you can see, once I put the wallet, I can start the actual copy trading by pressing right here. But there's all these rules that I can set, like minimum market cap, maximum market cap, the max amount of buying, whether I want to copy it exactly how I want it, or if I want a percentage or a fixed version. As you can see, you can read all of this and see what the different methods do and all these different settings that I can adjust for copy trading people. Now we're going to go over Nova's AFK mode. Here you can set up every new task to buy either pump fund tokens or radium tokens based on the filters that you set. If you want to buy every token that's coming out that has a minimum dev buyer of 5% that has a certain amount of tokens created that the dev has a certain amount of successful tokens created 
You can also blacklist certain dev wallets, cer blacklist certain tickers. You set all these filters up the way you want it, and it's going to buy every single coin based on those filters that you set. One of my favorite features Nova has is auto buy. I really want to talk about this. I think it's super important. Um, whenever you post a CA, say you're copying it from your wallet tracker, for example, right? Like, let's say I'm using my Potion wallet tracker here. I copy the wallet address, I mean, the token address that somebody else bought. Like, for example, Zuki just bought 1682 right? And I copy this contract address and I paste it here. It's going to attempt a buy. I don't have five sold my wallet, which is what I have my auto buy set up to, which is why that text didn't go through, but you can create a new rule, right? My current rule is if the market cap is between 1k to 1 mil, it'll auto buy five sold whenever I'm pasting a CA in. This is super helpful for if you see a CA get post on a Twitter tracker that you may use. Like for example, right now, if Trump were to post a CA, I could be able to copy it from my Twitter tracker and just paste it into Nova and it would automatically buy that token. Now I want to talk about the most important feature that Nova offers is Nova Click. So let's say you're using a DEX right now, like Bullex or like Photon. You see how I have this little thing right here that allows me to actually snipe and buy tokens using Nova. And this is actually overlaid on top of my DEX by using a Chrome extension. So let's talk about it. In the description down below, there will be a link to download this Nova extension. And then once you download the extension, there's going to be another link in the description to go on click.tradeonnova.io. You're going to connect it up here in the top right, and you're going to get prompted on your telegram to connect it to NovaClick. And once you do all that, there will also be a guide down below to help you if you're facing any errors. But yeah, once you're here on the DEX, you'll have this button right here, and this will instantly buy at the fastest speeds possible. You can click here. You also have a panel that you can enable here on the top right. You wanna go ahead and set up your presets, your preset style amounts, and you also wanna enable this Nova panel. And your quick buy amount as well, that's going to be the amount that is um, being bought back at the DEX homepage over here. Once you enable this panel, you are also able to set up your fees here on the panel. And if you go back to your Nova Telegram bot, you can go ahead and see here that there's a Nova click option and you can enable this to actually use the fees. And if you go over to your settings and you go over to Nova click, you can actually enable it to use the fees that are being set here in the panel. These are my current panel fees. And then I can go back and buy whatever amount of any token. Let's say for example, I wanna use this token. I buy one still here, as you can see it buys, and then I'm able to sell it as well. And then let's say you are scrolling on Twitter or Discord on the same browser you have NovaClick installed on. If you see a CA on Twitter, you're actually able to buy straight from Twitter and straight from Discord. This is one of my favorite features that Nova has to offer. And that's pretty much all there is to the NovaClick extension. Look, Nova is the fastest bot on the market right now, and you need to be using this bot in order to have any sort of advantage in the market. These are the PL cards that they give you. They're super dope. And obviously, with any bot, as soon as they're early, you have the referral option. Referring people to trading platforms is one of the best side hustles in crypto right now. You should definitely get on it while the platform is new and early. It's been Bro Orangey. I hope you guys enjoyed this Nova tutorial. I hope to see a lot of you guys using it. And stay tuned as Nova has a lot of stuff coming in the future. Peace.